name is Ron Feingold, and he is uh, an a cappella comedian. Tried to impress my wife and put an extra mirror up in our bathroom. As most of you know, if you put an extra mirror in a bathroom or any room, it gives the impression that the room is larger, right? But I put the mirror right behind the, the toilet. So I guess the only negative thing about it is you can actually see yourself, you know, doing your thing. <laughs> Come learn that the wife really didn't like the mirror in the bathroom where I put it because she put a little sign in the mirror that said, objects in mirror may seem larger than they really are. by one of the little village cops there. Uh, he's just a regular police officer. Let's just say this guy was not the smartest of all human beings, all right? He was a few sandwiches shy of a picnic. Let's put it that way. But he finds out I'm a comedian. He goes, yo, you're a comedian. Let me see you change colors. So I think we get along a lot easier as men and women if women were predictable like the weather. Not that you should be, but hypothetically, if you were, it would help us stupid guys out. That's why I think we should have something like a female forecast every day, just like the weather. See, every morning when you ladies wake up, you write down your behavior, whatever you think it's going to be like that day. Yeah. Stick it up on the fridge, us guys will read it, we'll know what's going to happen. Clear to partly pissed off and moody. <laughs> With a few scattered moments of bitchiness. Tonight's forecast continued cold. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I was there, met a married couple, they've been married for 63 years. I said, ma'am, what is the secret to marriage after 63 years? She looked at me dead in the eye, she goes, he won't die.
going through the first stage, it's called the courting stage. Hopefully three months ago he bought you flowers, candy, things like that. Does he still do it? No. <laughs> You cannot go into Home Depot and buy one thing. Physically, humanly impossible. You go in for a light bulb, you leave with a fence. <laughs> night time, my time at the Home Depot. Buy me, try me, even though I know I can't use a thing. But I hear the cash register ring I could buy a screen door tonight Home Depot's even open till midnight Where are the married people with dogs? Married people with dogs, not here. Yeah, see, I noticed something about married people before I got married myself, with, especially with dogs. Notice sometimes married people don't want to talk to each other sometimes. You might have had a bad day, week, month, year, whatever it may be. Sometimes you don't want to talk to your lover, but I find if you have a dog, you will talk to each other vicariously through the dog. It's true, it starts with a little wife coming home after a party going, Hello, you did boy, did you miss mommy? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Guess what? Daddy was flirting with all the pretty women at the party tonight. <laughs> Then the man retaliates and goes, hey little buddy, how you doing? Yeah, you're a good dog. Guess you are. Guess what? You and me are going to go on a walk tonight because mommy doesn't want to make love. Yeah. yeah. We're going to walk every night, don't we, dog? Good. Where in Minnesota are you from there now? Redville. Oh, yeah, you know. Good. So you know it's miserable. See, I found that most guys from cold weather states, especially Minnesota, you men don't divorce your wives till the summertime, do you? <laughs> you really forget it. I'll stay with her till it gets warmer out. It's cold in here, but it's a lot colder out there. I'm driving in my car. Woo! I turn on the radio. Give me a break, give me a break, break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. So kiss a little longer, stay close a little longer, hold tight a little longer, longer with Big Red. Ba -ba 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 -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba. Enjoy the cola. Whenever I see you, all I have to do is scream. Scream, scream, scream. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage, Mr. Neil Diamond. Hello again, hello. To all the girls I've loved before. Travel in and out my door. To all the girls I once could. I say I feel the best for helping me to grow. I owe that. I owe. My dad's kind of a strange guy. He's the only guy I know that goes through the drive through at Burger King that feels the need to tell them from his car through the speaker that he wants his food to go. <laughs> Not only funny, but musically entertaining as well. It's fabulous. It was a great show. And it was clean, and it was like a, it, it's so creative. The range is amazing of it. That he, uh, he can go up and down and spin the guitar, the instruments, everything. The voices and the imitations that he did was just, just great. Two thumbs up for Ron Feingold. We don't celebrate and have a good time. 